In the middle. See, there's like the fans. Oh, that's a set shot show. Do the little fan. Okay. Yeah. Uh, we're gonna click on the settings button. And then, see, it's already detecting your profile. It's gonna create a call, right? Yeah, so click on that. And click it again. Okay, we'll just give it a second. Okay. It's gonna wanna send you a link. So you're gonna enter your phone number on the screen in just a second. Just click send link. So enter the phone number. So basically what the app wants us to do right now is to create a six digit code for your account, which is why they're gonna send um, a text to your device. Ils l'ont fait tantôt, ça là, mais. On va... Oh, il y en avait. Ouais. Il l'avait déjà fait. Mm -hmm. Oh, ok. Je suis juste curieuse de savoir. Ouais. Mm. Est-ce que vous avez reçu un texte? Ni deux. J'ai comme juste maintenant. Non, non. Non, pas encore. Ok, so here's what we're gonna do. Uh, just go back to. Tu joues dans l'app? Ben, on va juste, on va faire ce qu'on va faire au lieu. Si on va juste aller en bas, on va cliquer sur. Ah, uh, voyez-vous ça dit info and security? Mm -hmm. Click that, system reset, and then reset. Plus, that devrait nous amener à la page où on doit être. So, vous avez déjà créé le pin, right? Le six digit pin? Oui. Ok. À toi, t'as-tu mis un pin? Non. Tu m'as donné un pin. Oh, non, okay. non, j'ai pris les pins qu'ils m'ont donné par email. Oh, ok, ok. Non, c'est bon, c'est bon. Puis, juste select the language. Puis, uh, <laughs> enter the phone number. Again. Ok, there it's send. Ignore the text they're about to send you. We're just going to go directly into the Toyota app. And um, I'll just need one of you to do it, because if you both do it, mm. it'll mess everything up. Uh, click continue. Awesome. Continue again. Okay. You're going to take your phone and just scan the, the create QR code. Excellent. You're just going to follow the prompts on the phone. So let that load. Okay. Do you guys nickname your cars? No. No? <laughs> <laughs> just kind of give you view. Just go, oh, okay. Um, and then you can select, usually I do allow while using app for the, the location. Uh, the reason I asked if you nickname your cars is because in the app it gives you the option. You can just skip and click save changes for now. Don't have a name yet. No, you'll have to sleep on it. <laughs> uh, it's Right now it's showing you what you get for free for the next little while. So remote connect, which is the remote starter, free for the next three years. Safety connect, which is your SOS button, right up here. And there's a cover over it, so that's free for up to 10 years. You've got Drive Connect, which is the um, satellite GPS. That's mm. free for three years. After three years, it stops working unless you renew that subscription also. And Service Connect is if ever, uh, I don't know, say you get an alert on the dash, um, like, I don't know, you need an oil change, we get alerted at service, so we call you and say, hey, would you like us to secure a spot for mm -hmm. you? Um, for service. C'est cool, pareil. Oui, c'est super cool. Hey, t'es dû pour un oil change. <laughs> on oublie parfois. So, on va juste faire continue. And you're gonna just agree to the terms and conditions in a second. There's gonna be at least three of them. The first two, you do have to accept. And the last one, which is in-app marketing, you can decline if you wish. If you're declining, you'll just have to... I get, uh, I turn it's okay, off. man. It's fine, man. <laughs> and then confirm. And then confirm and continue. Finish setup. Are you guys familiar with Apple CarPlay? Have you ever used Apple CarPlay or heard of Apple CarPlay? It's okay, I'll show you in a bit, don't worry. So it looks like we just have to enable your uh, notifications because your phone's gonna want to alert you if you've like left the doors unlocked or... So click notifications, allow. And see now, it already detects your profile. It looks like we did it under Martin's name, so your mm -hmm. name comes up. Il faut bien j'ai mon nom quelque part. Okay, quoi, oui, c'est pas sur le contrat, ça doit être ici. On va juste retourner dans Toyota en haut. Perfect. And I'm just gonna refresh, see if it's capable. Uh, so, yeah. So let that load. 
And see now it gives you the option to lock, unlock, start. It also shows you the distance to empty. So you can travel 927 kilometers on your gas engine. So ça, ça inclut pas uh, le système hybride. So you're gonna get actually more range than just that. Wow. Um, so we have the ça va être Je sais pas si vous avez beaucoup de millage, mais ça c'est quand même beaucoup. Ça va vous durer ça peut-être un mois, deux mois. Wow. <laughs> Um, so we want the vehicle status unlocked and that the windows are open, which is accurate. They're mm -hmm. open. So you go in the middle, that will show you the last place that So it's not totally precise, but it gives you a general idea of where it's at. Because we're at 440 MacArthur, it's showing 440, or 438 MacArthur. Well, close enough. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the application. Um, one thing you should know is if you're in the car, or next to the car, you're trying to start it from your phone, it won't work because mm -hmm. you're too close. So you'd have to be from here to at least like, I don't know, that RAV4 over there for it to work. Any closer, and it might not do it. Okay. Otherwise, it works from anywhere in the world. Anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> so that's your app. Um, if you want, yeah, we'll complete the setup, the Bluetooth. Yeah, you can click yes. And you can both have this on your device. You're just going to share the same login. And if more people want to um, have it, just give them your login. You can just search for devices uh, on the right hand side. And I'll need you guys to both go into your settings on your phone so we can uh, turn on Bluetooth. Uh, you'll keep, uh, keep on while using. Excellent. And then, Martin, we'll do yours first just because yours came up first. Okay. So click on Toyota RAV4. You'll get a six digit pairing code on the screen 202786. Yep. Okay. And then just click pair on your phone. So earlier I mentioned Apple CarPlay. Uh, what is this? Hello, contacts and favorite. We hello. So Apple CarPlay, non false que ça fait, is it takes your phone and it projects it onto the screen, so you can have uh, okay. your Waze, your uh, Google Maps, Spotify, all of that at your disposal on the screen. Nice. So I'll have you click yes to enable Apple CarPlay. Hello. Yeah. And then use CarPlay. And yes on the screen. And it looks like Martin, you also have to turn on your notifications. So click turn on. You'll click notifications. Uh, allow. Notifications. Allow. Perfect. That's it? That's it. Okay. So if you look at your screen right now, it looks different, right? Because it's literally projecting your phone, Martin, onto the screen. Okay. When you click these little dots here, it'll display all the other apps that are compatible. Hmm. with the car. So not all of your apps will be here because some apps just don't work in the car. Okay. But if you want to use maps, for instance, you just click maps. Oh, it says this one. Ça va just comme mm -hmm. um, and if you swipe, there should be other apps, I don't know. Uh, like swipe the, this or? Uh, comme ça. Oui. Le voyez vous, vous avez Wii, okay. vous avez Spotify, Google Maps. Cool. Teams. No Facebook, no Facebook, just sorry. Pas, quoi. No <laughs> Facebook, no Messenger. Is that my phone? No, it's uh, Martin. Phone. It's on my phone, but it's okay. I, we don't need it in the car. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you have Teams? I don't know what's that. It's quite uh, uh, Oh, I'm not going there. Teams, it's like Zoom. Yeah, I use it at work, I, but you don't have it. No. Do you guys share the same like iCloud? Peut-être dans le temps qu'Alex on faisait ça. I don't know. Pretty easy. Mais il est là. Si jamais vous voulez utiliser, um, let's say we're done with the screen and we want to go back to where we were originally. So we can connect our next phone. Mm -hmm. You'll click Toyota. Yep. And that brings us right back where we started, right? We were just on this page. And then if I want to change a driver or... Oh, so that doesn't matter. Okay. Um, but like, see, we're currently in settings like we were earlier. We're here right now. Mm -hmm. If you want to go back to anything Apple CarPlay related, anything from your iPhone, you click this up here. Play? Yep. Click that. And yeah. then it brings us back to Apple CarPlay. So that's how you go from CarPlay versus the Toyota page. So to go back, Toyota. Okay. Now you know how to go back and forth. We'll connect your phone on it. So we're gonna go to Bluetooth and devices. We're gonna click add another device. Okay. And then search for devices on the uh, right. Yeah. And then Annex phone, you're right there. So you can click on the Annex iPhone. You'll get that six digit pairing code also in just a second. You'll do okay. Yeah. okay. Okay. And then just allow. allow. 
and then you'll be asked as well in a sec if you want to enable CarPlay. So if you want that same display that Mate had, you'll say yes. And then allow, use CarPlay. And then now it'll be your apps and your contacts and everything that will be displayed. Do you guys ever use Siri? If you say, hey Siri. On l'a pas dans une voix, nous. Non, je ne sais pas. Non, je sais quoi, donc. Oh, mais c'est parce que là, elle nous écoute parce que j'ai dit Siri. Cancel. C'est juste pour vous laisser savoir. Je pensais que tu parlais Sirius. Non, on met Sirius, mais vous l'aviez pour 3 mois. Donc, Toyota would like to communicate with the Toyota multimedia. Euh, a lot. So, um, no, with Siri, if you're driving and you say, hey Siri, she'll come up and you can make a command like you normally would on your phone. Like, take me to 440 MacArthur and it'll okay. take you there. So now this is your apps on it because you're connected to your device. If you click the little dots again, it'll display the apps from your device. Um, and again, to go back, you click Toyota, and we're right back where we started. Okay. And then to go back, yeah. just like that. Uh, if we go back to Toyota, I'll show you how to switch from one device to the other. If you're both in the car and you're connected, but Martin wants to play his music, <laughs> you go to the settings, which were there, Bluetooth and devices, and then um, yeah. you'll just select, and then you would turn off, or sorry, connect rather. Okay. And I'll give you the boot, so now you're no longer connected, and it'll connect my phone, so just like that. Okay. So now his Apple CarPlay is going to be connected. Okay, mm -hmm. um, let's go back to the Toyota page. I'm going to show you a few more things here. So we've covered settings. We know what settings is good for. We know this is Apple CarPlay. You can check that off. This here is for your embedded GPS, your satellite GPS. Okay. Like I mentioned, free for three years. After three years, it stops working, and you're looking at $19.95 a month. If you want to use it, you have Apple CarPlay, mm -hmm. so who cares? Yeah. <laughs> um, when you're ready to use this, you'll just click on the magnifying glass. Yep. And then it's going to wait for you to say it out loud, like the address. If you'd rather type it in, you just okay. click search for now. For navigation, and then you can type in okay. the address, and then you can just X out for now. But that's how it's done. That's how you search. Cool. Um, then we'll click the music icon for your radio. If you click enable audio, so right now um, there's not a whole lot going on. You can adjust the sound here. No. <laughs> you can also do it from the steering wheel on the left hand side. So. Before, we used to have what's called presets, now they call it favorites. So you have favorites that are already favorited for you. See where it says favorites? Mm -hmm. So if you click on one of the stations in your favorites... Oops. Oh, it's cool. Just uh, go back, click radio at the very top on your left. Yeah. And then click on one of the stations, whichever. Yeah. You'll see a heart. Hit, hit. See the heart in the corner? Yeah. That means it's in your favorites. <laughs> <laughs> So when there's a red heart, it's because it's been added to your favorites. If you want to remove it, two options. You can hit edit and then just delete all of them at once. Or you can simply click the heart. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. unlikes, unlikes, unlikes it. Un yeah, un exactly. Un but we'll leave it as is. Cool. If you go back to radio at the top, you notice how everything's categorized for you. You have FM radio, AM radio, Sirius XM. Mm -hmm. So if you click on FM radio, for instance, or AM, whichever, it will display all your FM radios. It looks like it's not calibrated right now. Um, if you, uh, once you bring out the car, in theory, it should have all the stations. But it will have all your FM radio stations here, eventually. And then you can pick. And then when you find one you like, click it, heart it, click on your favorites. We go back to radio at the top. Um, if you click on Sirius XM, for instance, this will be free for three months, and it's all categorized for you. So you've got music, sport, news, talk, all of that, all these different genres to choose from. Siri, okay, so it's serious. Wait, puis là ils vont vous bombarder avec plein de choses par la poste pour renouveler votre abonnement. So get ready for that. <laughs> so this is your radio. Um, if you rather listen to music from your phone, two options. You can click Sources, and then Sources will allow you to select the device you want it to start playing from. Or, you can simply go to Apple CarPlay and then select the music app that you want it to play from. When we click Phone, nothing happens unless you click on the triangle, 
and then when we click that triangle in the middle, it takes us to our favorites. If you don't have any favorites, there's just <laughs> nothing there. Um, I'm not your favorite. Got... <laughs> oh, no favorite. <laughs> but at least we've got recent contacts keypad, just like on your. We'll talk when you go home, huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if you click here, and then the Toyota emblem, it'll just bring us right back where we were. Down here, we've got a little vehicle. So this is going to display trip information, energy flow, vehicle alerts. If we click vehicle alerts, there should not be any because it's a brand new car. Good, there are none. <laughs> if we go back, you'll have energy flow, which will show you what's being utilized. Is it your hybrid system or is it the gas engine? So it gives you a visual. Um, you'll also hear and feel a difference. You'll know when you're on the hybrid system versus the gas because it'll be a lot quieter, a lot smoother. Um, and then finally, if you go back to vehicle, trip information which will display the distance you've traveled and your trip range if ever you're into to that kind of stuff cool and then of course check all that does it, yeah <laughs> I, I never do then of course we've got settings which we're familiar with so that is your infotainment screen good good mm -hmm. good ray i feel like you should know the rest of the stuff so you can stop recording <laughs> oh, what did you say <laughs> don't hide so you've got the infotainment uh -huh. system down um, and then, I don't know if you guys know this about your card. You see this like tab here? Say bye. 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 <laughs>